Hello once again folks, it's May 5th, 1943 in the Solomon's uh, campaign. Um, I'm moving very slowly up, being very careful. Um, I've taken a look at the map themselves and uh, I can't even see the, is there the score okay? So it looks like I'm winning on points as it stands right now, um, which is good. Uh, I didn't realize that I could actually uh, do recon in this game. I thought when I actually clicked on it, it wouldn't allow me to do it. But uh, well, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Even without recon. Okay, so you should never hit them where they're the strongest. And I'm just looking at here like this port is wide open, this port is wide open. And this port's got empty air. It's a one. This is a four. Can't remember when the scenario was over. December 31st, so that's coming up. I think I'll continue with the campaign the way we were actually approaching it. So I, I'm going to work on towards choking Lee here and with my battleships, with my uh, attack fleet here. So I'm going to try to continue uh, going there and I'm going to try to take these units here and try to reduce some of the air so it'll make my uh, forces a little bit easier to to manage when I go up. Um, this is damaged. I don't even remember it being damaged. Okay. Yeah, I've, I'm at a point now where I'm thinking maybe even causing a little trouble here in Rabaul. Like if I can get troops here uh, and take a shot at it, it might be worth getting troops on Rabaul and start spreading them out and start using my carrier force for possibly a blockade, take some hits, get a bit of a nosebleed. So let's bring this unit over. and nothing. And that's totally shocking. And what I'd like to be able to do is get a marine unit going. Up here. Okay, so the goal is I gotta get troops here and hopefully get some aircraft there and start causing some havoc here. Um, and maybe provide some protection. This looks like there's a lot of troops here. And Rabaul looks like it's pretty tough there too, so I'm going to force them to try to come down on me and see what they can do. Uh, and once I get what I, a, a unit there, a marine unit, I'll swap them out with a bigger army unit, and then this way they'll have a more difficult time trying to... Uh, knock me out. Uh, this is only a one port so it will only be able to handle a size 20 uh, unit here. So I've got some options here. Uh, what I could do also is strictly do a uh, an attack and then retreat. That's another option that I do every once in a while. I capture the port and then I retreat back out. 
So this way I can damage their aircraft, sort of a commando raid, if you may. So I'm um, looking at this. It's got so it's ready for the next turn, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a commando raid here. I'm going to take a chance, take a couple hits, and uh, send one of their air units uh, uh, to oblivion here. Uh, I've got a blockade here occurring, uh, and I'm going to do that to try to reduce the force here. And then eventually, once these forces kind of get reduced, they'll be able to invade and take Lee. Um, I'm going to start moving a little bit back here. I'm going to keep him here. And I'll keep them there. Start putting a little pressure on Lee. And I'm still thinking about bypassing both of these islands now. And just attacking their air units and trying to reduce their air units because when you take a look at what I've got here I've got a ground support but I also have an interceptor so I'm going to try to keep their levels up using trucks and attack their air units looks like nobody wanted to fight today my bomber here I was going to keep going after these ships. You can see with a, an effectiveness of 64, it was not very effective. So, okay, I'm going to start raking my way towards Lee. And again, the idea behind it, if we're looking at a defensive line here, here is the defensive line that I want created. I think I'm going to do a little commando raid here just to open up that port and get rid of that air unit and we'll see how that works out for us have some fun with this uh, scenario okay let's move Let's move to the next turn. You get to a point with the game, you start going fast, and that's when you start missing things. But usually what you do is you come up with a particular strategy, and the USS was sunk. Okay. Let me do a report here. Yeah, those naval air units have to start going down. They're getting very bold. an upgrade. Let's go anti-air. Good stuff. Let's give it some fuel so I can start working this down. I want to see what supplies like. Okay, I've got my marine unit here, so like I mentioned before, what I'm going to do is just a hit and run here. See if I can grab the port. Good hit. I have no embarkment hexes here. It's right there. Oh, I went to operational points. Wow, I'm going to have to take two hits. Silly me. Should have stopped. Getting sloppy. Okay. Time to have fun with this air unit. Didn't want to 
to fly, which is okay. Time to attack those ships. Not doing anything right now. And it's a four six. Wow. Pretty strong unit. Double rain. Go up. The most active air units are these air units right now. No damage to their air unit. forward a turn but before we do that we can buy a few things that's it for patrol boats for me I've got seven of them in the queue oh need some oilers and of course you never have enough supply trucks so you can see sometimes I don't even go in and uh, buy anything I just double it up it's this is a 5-4 this make sure I have all my air my boats another marine keep him here for now okay let's move forward a turn Uh, two with no supplies okay so let me check supplies here yep so you can see here let's see if that one will do it I might have to retreat we'll see that going these guys are already starting to retreat as they realize how much uh, men I have coming forward okay so again, if you press Z, you can see all the, uh, well, let's take off the supply. Well, as luck would have it, it is a raining. It has allowed me to do it. This is what you call a hit and run. So it looks like I'm going to be able to go for Rebel almost Rebel almost directly now. Taking out Lee and Rebel. Bypassing these guys, completely surrounding them, and then just hammering them. Doing port blockades and just suffocating them. It's interesting to see that they've put uh, units there. So I'm kind of curious to see how the AI is going to react to this situation. 
Wow, I've got another CV. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I've made the Death Star here. get some communication so let's test that out here and you know where I'm going I'm going right to rebel and see what's there Intel is high so what does that tell me okay I knew there was an aircraft there and I knew that there was infantry there <laughs> one ship in the area interesting supply okay. with the airport taken I can move my fighters up here already but I'm gonna wait till I clear out Lee so I've almost gotten to a point now where I can start taking Raval this has been total change now of plans and action just based off of what's been happening so I started off with the defensive line here but now it seems more appropriate just to push up cutting off Lee would allow me access to Raval and then I can just move up and I can bypass all of these And I think that's what I'm going to end up doing at the end. Okay, what else can I bring over? Get him in the position to leave. i got a bunch of CVs now. And I've got my boats. support there so I'm gonna start choking these guys off uh, where do I have to go anywhere next to the port should be okay so if I sit here I should be alright good they've got air cover to be able to support I love it thank you for flying make sure that you get uh, a little bit more up the up Let's see if we can put a chokehold on that guy. There's a ship in the area here. And let's find out what it is. Looks like a battleship and two destroyers. Oh, that's me. That's me, okay. I'll have to get him out of there. Invasion, air unit overrun, naval interdiction, yeah. There it is, there's the strike. It's, it looks like it's a destroyer. Okay. Build another division in a second. Actually, I can build a 40. Ah, we'll wait. I might as well continue going.
June 16, 1943. They're going after my battleships, which make perfect sense. Probably going to have to repair some of them. Got fleets low in supply, which is okay because I have oilers. Got another PT boat to deploy, which is awesome. Check supply here. Good, all these units are in supply. It looks like they are leaving my carrier force alone, but these guys have to come home. They've got some damage. I'm going to place him on hold. He's already on hold. Good. So it looks like they've moved their air unit here as they realize they're in trouble. So it looks like their defense is to come back to Rabal, which is interesting. I've got my PT boats there causing damage. Don't see any out. They moved the ships to Rabal. So again, no luck. And now my bomber's taking quite a bit of hits here, so I'm going to have to repair. He's done well. Done very well. As always, there comes a time where my air units have to do their thing too, so... I don't want to overtax them. Again, they didn't want to fly. to rebel, so I'm going to make some infantry units now. Looks like the AI is giving me this port, which is good. Hopefully they'll give me lead too, and then I don't have to worry about anything else. this marine unit up. In a little while I'll check this unit to see if it's uh, lost any kind of uh, looks like I've got now another carrier force I'm wait a couple turns for that destroyer to actually repair and then I'm going to start moving forward with this other carrier force Wow, unbelievable the amount of carriers I have. Okay, let's move on forward another turn. Got a 
fleet low of supplies. So of course I'm going to provide them with a bit of oil. Got uh, double rain, double rain, so things aren't going to fly very well. And that's a supply depot, but that's a port. I'm going to have to do a little bit of ground attack here to um, in double rain so I won't be able to. Everything's grounded. So not much happening this turn. Everything seems to be grounded. Uh, I can bring my other fleet out now. That's four carriers, two first class carriers and two light carriers with a battleship. Looks like everybody's healthy. I can start bringing this person into the action. Notice I'm not even in raider mode. I'm looking for a fight now. great opportunity with double rain to be able to move your ships without any hindrance of air attack I just want to see here this person is going down that's good liking that just in case yeah I get smart and clever this is double rain two. So we're still working on Lee here. And we've chosen to bypass this completely. And this was just a hit and run raid that I decided to try to do. It wasn't even done properly. I should have held back in raider mode here and then went in. Still rain. Must be monsoon season. Yay, trucks available. More Marines. Move them over. Got more boats. Okay, this time air is available. As always, I'm going to go for the air first. So notice it did take off and there was a bit of a, an attack there. I didn't get any damage. I'm going to go for an airstrike here. Again, I'm going to use my trucks here. I'm going to move up here, see what supply is like. Still don't have enough troops to take Lee. It's a port size 3 too, so it'll be beneficial. We got nowhere for this guy to go. So I'm just going to keep him there for now. And I could capture that airport there and then that one too and bring even more air units closer to bear but my bomber is getting better which is good got all my naval units out except for two P2 PT boats So these 
these PT boats are strangling and eventually I'll strangle that island out too. But I want Lee. Okay, so I've got six seven here, so let's get another division and another division. Let's do an oiler. As always, Australia. Let's get a regiment and supply truck duty. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, we're still working our way towards Lee and it seems like most of this battle is over with it's just a cleanup operation now um, I mean even that hit and run there if they would have not placed a unit there I would have gotten a, a troop there too uh, just to cause havoc to the AI and I'm sure that would have been that troop would have been in trouble because of the air units but they would have been most of the time interdicting supply and keeping busy that way I mean I have two full carrier units now ready to go so uh, I'm gonna be able to blockade any port that I want to and uh, maybe three ports at a time like with these units so that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be just strangling them uh, slowly. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.